All right, so this is just a short video to show you uh, how to get Ultima Online working in Linux. Uh, I'm using uh, Garuda Linux install. It's an Arch-based distro, and I'm using XFCE for my desktop. So uh, things they're going to need is Wine or a front end for Wine like Lutris or Bottles. I'll be using Bottles, uh, a file browser, and then uh, something to unzip files with XArchiver or the equivalent. Um, the files I'm going to be using today uh, come from uh, the Ultima Online Second Age. So get their client here. Um, classic UO, you can get the Linux uh, launcher here. And we're going to add Razor to it as well. So you can get that from their website. And the first thing I want to do is extract the classic UO launcher. Um, I'm using uh, the GUI and everything. You can use the command line for all this. And I've got a bit of a bug here where it doesn't show up. It's going to unzip this to the desktop. Again, a bit of a bug. It's there, but uh, it hung. So uh, the next thing, we'll want to create a bottle for our client. Um, you can you don't have to have a bottle, but you can do this in Lutris or just with wine. So I'm just going to make a new one. And this is going to take a minute, so we'll go ahead and I fire up the classic UO launcher. Here it's on the desktop. There we go. And it should be loading up. It's got my profiles already loaded, but you'll have to create a new profile. Server IP is Second age, UO second age. Dot com. Port is two five nine three. Go ahead and go to plugins and uh, say add zip. This is where you can just go to that razor zip file. Open that. Good to go. Save the profile. And our bottle was created. So here's uh, Ultima Online. And so now you want to install your client. Uh, you just say run executable and select that UO Second Age client setup. Tell it to run. This. Don't need any of this extra stuff. Should just take a second. Uh, one thing to note while that's working, this classic UO folder that it created in this Folder is um if you go into here go into data and that's where the plugins are and that's it's actually unzip that razor into there so you know where that's at and this is where you would add your profiles if you had razor profiles ready to go Okay, and there we go, we're finished. And uh, that should be all that we need from the bottles. So now we just need to point uh, this UO path to that client, select it here. Um, it's in your home folder. And for me, because it's bottles, it's dot local share bottles, bottles, uh, and the name of the bottle, which was Ultima Online. Drive C, program files x86, 
right is Ultima Online. So you can select that. Set the client version is 5.0.8.3. So that's all good. Save the profile. Okay. And that should be ready to go. If we hit play, our online essay profile. Razor pops up a second, and here we go. We've got classic EO client, Razor. Put in your account. Now you'll notice there's no music playing. So this is a bug that I found. Um, go ahead and close this down. If we actually go into that folder that the client is installed in, so home, dot local, share, bottles, bottles, uh, uh, Ultima Online. Drive C in here, Ultima Online. So for whatever reason, this client installs the music folder here. Uh, all the files are in there, but it doesn't see them. You actually just have to rename this the capital M. Okay. Go again. And voila, there we go. Lots of good options in here. Uh, you can, you know, of course, add your username and password if you want. Add more plugins. Um, do the auto login stuff like that. But you've got a fresh Classic UO install ready to go, and a fresh Razor ready for your profiles to set up and everything. Hope that helps.